William said one of the things was he regrets not getting it done sooner. At what point do you think you'll be a little nervous as you get closer to camp starting? Uh, I mean, uh, I guess we'll find out, but hopefully, you know, sooner than sooner than later. We want to be there for camp. I want to be there for the start of camp, so hopefully something good done then. But like I said, I mean, uh, my agent and Kyle are, are doing it, and, you know, they're going to figure something out. Would you go to camp without a deal? Probably not. I mean, there's so much risk with that, and, um, you know, it's just something you don't want to risk. Self-signing an offer sheet? I mean, like I said, we're just going to leave that to my agent. Uh, I've been staying out of all of that stuff, and, um, you know, I just want to focus on the event for the next two days. People talk, stopping you in the street and asking about, uh, you know, your uh, contract situation? Yeah, I mean, a lot of fans are always, I mean, there's fans everywhere you go, especially here in Toronto. So, um, you know, they've been pretty funny through the whole kind of event, and uh, I've seen a lot in the airport. So, I mean, it's been kind of funny joking around with them, but um, fan base has been, you know, pretty good. How much has the uncertainty affected you, do you think? Uh, none. I mean, uh, I haven't really been involved too much. You know, I've been letting my agent deal with all this stuff and let him do all the talking. For me, it's just getting better this summer, trying to be a, a better player come next year and uh, just enjoying my summer. What would you say to fans who are a little bit worried that um, you might not sign a contract with the Maple Leafs? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm leaving that all up to my agent right now. And you know, for this weekend, I just want to focus on this charity and you know this cause. and try and make uh, a better world. You see a little bit of the uh, the hype that followed uh, Kawhi Leonard and uh, you're feeling a little bit of it yourself maybe in uh, all the interest in whether or not you're going to uh, sign a new deal. Uh, I mean I've stayed off all social media in other words um, you know don't really want to focus on anything like that on social media you know it's nothing really good on social media anyway so um, you know for me it's just kind of keep my phone away from me relaxing and you know just kind of enjoying the summer. The other RFAs in, in the market. Are you surprised that there hasn't been as much action as maybe we were expecting to see? Um, not really. I mean, everyone I think is in the same boat. I mean, we're all letting our agents do the do all the talking and dealing with everything. Um, as a player standpoint, I think all of us just want to come in next year and be a better player and be a bigger impact on the team. And um, you know, they're probably staying out as much as I am and just enjoying the summer. What went through your mind when Patrick Marlowe got traded? Uh, well, I mean, he called me and he let me know uh, before it got released. So, uh, I mean, I talked to him for about 10, 15 minutes, and he's, I still talk to him on a daily basis. I'm actually going to see him next weekend. So, um, you know, he's still very close to me and my family, and uh, he's meant a lot to us. And, uh, I mean, whatever team gets him next year, he's going to do great for them. What were your thoughts on the Caudry trade, and uh, how familiar are you with Tyson Berry? Uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks seeing people get traded out of the team, uh, especially Naz, he meant a lot to our team on and off the ice. Uh, he's a great mentor for a lot of our young guys and uh, he'll definitely be missing the room. But uh, I mean, I'm, I knew I know Tyson a little bit. I played with him at the Worlds. Uh, he's a great defenseman. He, he means a lot to our team and uh, I think he uh, he brings a lot of depth to our decor. What's the biggest thing do you think Tyson brings? Uh, I mean, it's hard to point, pinpoint one. Uh, he's got you know great vision on the ice. He's, He's that D-man that can get shots through from the point that seem like it's almost impossible to get through. So, uh, you know, he just brings another puck moving defenseman that uh, has a lot of skill on him. You had a great season last year. What's the next step, do you think, for, for you? Uh, just make sure I'm being consistent with it. Um, make sure I'm, I come in next year the same, being ready to perform at the same that I did last year and hopefully be better and uh, help our team out more.